Hey everyone, this is Rima's Culinary Adventures and we are making Indian style buffalo chicken wings. Please support me by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell below. Please show me your support by liking and sharing with your friends and keep coming back for more. Preheating the oven at 200 degrees Celsius, fan and grill. Prepare the chicken wings by cutting at the joint to separate the drumlets and the flats and then set them aside. It's actually surprisingly easy to cut through the cartilage in between the joints. It doesn't really require a lot of effort and a sharp knife can slice right through it. However, if you find yourself trying to cut through a bone, just readjust the placement of your knife to find the cartilage and it should work wonderfully. With things like this, practice really makes perfect. Now place them all in a dry bowl and set them aside. Now to roast our whole spices, place a flat based pan over medium heat and then once the pan is hot, throw in your cumin seeds and coriander seeds and saute until wonderfully aromatic and lightly golden. Whole spices have a tendency to burn and therefore it's important to keep an eye on them. Once they're nicely toasted, crush them lightly and set aside. You don't really need to grind them into a fine powder. All we really need to do is to release the flavors so that it perfumes our wings beautifully. In fact, leaving them coarse like that would give you little pops of flavor when you bite into them, which is actually quite wonderful. Once done, add it into a clean dry bowl and add in the rest of the spices for the dry rub. First, the most important one, salt. Then we go with some turmeric powder, then chili powder, onion powder, then some baking powder, which makes the wings really crispy in the oven, some corn flour, and then some lime zest. At this point, we want our ingredients completely dry. Adding any moisture will stop the wings from getting crisp in the oven. Once all of the ingredients are well incorporated, pour the dry rub over the chicken wings and give everything a good mix. You want every chicken wing to be properly coated in the dry rub to ensure that every bite is well seasoned and wonderfully delicious. Once they are nicely coated in the dry rub, place them over a lined baking sheet without overcrowding. While you can bake them immediately, you can also place your chicken wings in the fridge uncovered until you're ready to bake them, which makes meal prep so very easy when you're entertaining. Also, it dries out the skin a little bit further, which gives you a crispier wing at the end. With your oven preheated at 200 degrees Celsius, bake them in the middle of the oven for 20 minutes after which give them a quick turn and place them back in the oven for 15 more minutes after which your wings will be completely done. I find it really convenient to prepare my ingredients for the glaze in the first 20 minutes and while the chicken's baking for the last 15 minutes I prepare my glaze. Now I place my pan back on medium heat and then throw in my butter and my minced ginger and saute until my butter is completely melted and until the ginger releases its wonderful aroma. And now add in the sliced garlic and saute until aromatic. At this stage, also throw in the curry leaves. I'm using dried curry leaves, but fresh ones are even more fragrant. That said, fresh curry leaves can be overpowering and therefore you just need half the amount. Now throw in finely sliced shallots or brown onions and saute until the onions have softened and the edges get slightly golden. As you can imagine, at this point, everything smells so very delicious. I mean, not a lot can compete with the smell of butter and fried onions. And really, this is the best start you can give a glaze. Once your onions lovely and golden, throw in some garam masala and stir to combine. Now add in about 3 tablespoons of hot sauce, any hot sauce of your choice. I'm using Nando's here because that's what I have on hand. But the original Buffalo Wings called for Frank's hot sauce. But I think any hot sauce that tastes great from the get-go will work wonderfully. Now add in about one and a half to two tablespoons of honey and then give everything a good mix. Once all of the ingredients are well incorporated and your sauce looks glossy and thick, take it off the heat and allow it to cool slightly. Now add in our crispy oven baked chicken wings into the glaze and give everything a good mix. I like to add my herbs at this stage as well. I prefer chives and coriander here but you can use anything that you like. I find that the heat of the chicken wings cooks the herbs slightly and intensifies the flavors but you can use your herbs at the later stage as well. Serve immediately with some fries salads, crudités, over some pulav with a tall glass of chilled beverage and enjoy. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like this recipe. Thanks for watching and have a happy day.